got more leaks about the Quest 3 S. We have some good and bad news for the PSVR 2, as well as new information on the Pico 4 S, all coming up in this video. Hi, my name's Lordsy. Today's video is sponsored by VR Rock, and let's get into this video. For the longest time, we've known about a Quest 3 Lite on the way. It's supposed to be a cheaper but less effective Quest 3. A lot of people are steered away from getting into the VR space due to the hefty price point. It's impossible to get an AR headset without spending 500 bucks and above, like way above. So the decision to make a light model a much more affordable way for new consumers to get into the mixed reality market is actually a fantastic idea for the space as a whole. Well, over the last couple of days, there have been multiple images floating around the internet of some Quest 3S leaks. The person who leaked these images claims that they were part of a meta user research Zoom meeting when they were shown these images. Now, don't get me wrong. These leaks are not verified, nor is the person leaking them. But the graphics look highly professional, they match Meta's marketing for their Quest lineup, and with all the news we've been getting about the Quest light leaks from verified leakers, it kind of seems likely. But again, I just want to say this, we cannot clarify that right now, but it does look kind of believable. It's got a supposed 1832 by 1920 resolution, and a pixel density of 20, which in comparison has almost the same resolution and pixel density of the Quest 2, which it has the exact same resolution of the Quest 2 and an only slightly higher pixel density. The main features of this would clearly be the pancake lenses being present in the device, as well as the color pass-through AR capabilities, which of course the Quest 2 had a black and white version of pass-through, but the technology's come a long way and it's a lot more affordable since then. The price would have to be significantly cheaper compared to the Quest 3 for somebody to buy this device. But also not too high that it's not worth just buying a Quest 2. But there is a unique gap in the middle around the $300 range that could be appropriate to get people into the AR and mixed reality space. And with all the hype around the Vision Pro, it seems like a perfect time for people who don't want to spend those insane price tags just to get into the mixed reality experience. So let me know what you think about that in the comments. And a quick word for from our sponsor. If you wear glasses like me, then you know that VR sucks with the spacers. I spend half my time adjusting the glasses or worrying that they're gonna scratch the lenses. That's why today's sponsor is VR Rock. They've changed the way I see VR, literally. <laughs> Guys, for 25 bucks, you can get yourself high quality, cheap lenses, which are easy to install with their magnetic feature. They tailor them to your prescription and there's worldwide free shipping. They're oil resistant, scratch resistant, dust resistant, easy to clean. Use code LORDSY for 10% off by clicking the link in the description or going to vr-rock.com and get yours today using code LORDSY. So let's get back to the video. The next story we have today is about the PSVR 2. Last week we got an announcement that PlayStation and Sony are working on making the PSVR 2 compatible with PC VR. PlayStation in the last couple years have been heavily focused in bringing their exclusive games over to the PC market on Steam. We all know that the PSVR 2 specs are insane with the haptic feedbacks, 4K OLEDs. It's just a great spec device. But its biggest downfall is that it's only compatible with the PS5. I think myself included and a lot of others were put off by this fact. Because why would anybody spend 500 bucks on this device when you can purchase yourself a Quest 3 which is standalone and works with PC VR. It just doesn't make a lot of sense. So the good news is that they're probably working on an adapter that you plug into your PC that allows you to use your PS VR 2 on the PC. And this is just a guess, nothing confirmed, but with how much they've been releasing on Steam for exclusivity, I wouldn't be surprised if they're working with Valve currently to get Steam VR working with the PS VR 2. So I said we have some good news and some bad news. The bad news is that Sony Group Corp has paused all production of the PSVR 2 headsets until it clears its current backlog of unsold units, which makes sense as their shipments have declined every single quarter since its release, which of course is probably due to the PS5 exclusivity. Because not only do you have to buy a PS5 at a hefty price, you then have to purchase the VR device for the exact same price. 
And for a lot of people, why would they not just pick up a Quest 2 or 3 at a much cheaper cost? So hopefully, and I'm pretty sure with good marketing, around the fact that they're bringing PC VR to the PSVR 2, we could see an influx of sales which of course means more production of PSVR 2 and a potential PSVR 3. Again, let me know what you think about this in the comments. And our last story today is about the Pico 4S. A while ago, I reported that Pico was stopping development of the Pico 5 to work on an Apple Vision Pro competitor, which we then found out they're going to be creating a Pico 4S, which is definitely confirmed now as they've trademarked the name. We don't know if it's going to be a pro version or a light version of the current existing Pico 4, but it is rumored to have the Snapdragon XR2 Gen 2 chip, the exact same chip found in the Quest 3. But what we do have is 3D models of the Pico 4S controllers, which were apparently found in the Pico Connect PC client data. And then our next story about Bike Dance and Pico, that they're really teasing their motion trackers 2.0. You can see by this photo, they connect to your ankles, and it's going to be an upgraded version of their already existing motion tracking. This device is expected to be announced or released around April, and they're even offering to send people the device for free in Europe to do some testing on the device via their discord Pico is about to announce a bunch of things and of course i'll make sure to keep you updated here on this channel which is probably a great time to ask you to subscribe and smash that like button if you enjoyed today's video and you want to stay up to date with vr ar and tech news i really appreciate you watching this far much love and peace